panic is contagious, but so is leadership. Now's the time for us all to step up as true leaders of our businesses. Some of the content for this video I've borrowed from my, one of my favorite authors, Vern Harnish. Most of it I've learned in leading businesses through three major economic recessions and other major business disruptions due to terrorism, fires, refugees, natural disasters, or political disruption. <laughs> So here's what I have learned is a practical approach to leading in a crisis or downturn. Number one, communicate daily. This is the most important action of them all. Send out a daily communication, an email, a two minute video, a voice message to all of your employees. You must over communicate during a period, during a time like this. And if it can be brief, a few sentences or 90 seconds, that's all that is needed. If you think you need to communicate more than this, you won't do it, and that's worse than doing nothing at all. Your team wants to know that you're at the helm of the ship and that you're working and acting. The key is to stick to the facts. No time for rants or theories or using phrases like, I bet you're feeling. This isn't a time for guessing. Present what is happening. Don't sugarcoat it but balance a negative with several positives over the next several days and weeks. And if you have a negative to share, mention it first in the communication, then note what is being done to address it. Doing this makes you more believable and more trustworthy. Number two, support your customers and community. Give, give, and give with no expectation of return. There is a tendency to turn inward when something like this happens, but consider how might we support our customers and community? Work with your team to brainstorm, then act. As I said, the key is giving, giving, and giving with no expectation of return. Your customers will remember this when all of this clears up, and it will clear up. And remember, the research shows that one way to combat depression and sadness is to help someone else. Number three, clean up and catch up. Now is the time for spring cleaning to Keep people proactive and occupied. Organizations have been running hard for years during this last decade of unprecedented change and growth and expansion. Use the slowdown to clean up and catch up. It's time for spring cleaning all aspects of your business. A key focus is to make things easier for your customers and your employees. It's time to strip out needless activities and costs, making everyone's job easier and saving money. Number four, cash is everything. Related to the cleanup is a specific focus on the cash side of a business. Review all monthly recurring expenses and eliminate waste. Involve your entire team in finding ways to save money. Also check out David Pross's article in Forbes dated March the 17th and called Six Sources of Crucial COVID-19 Support for Small Businesses. The link will be below this video. And number five, be calm and considerate. Breathe. Remember, as the leader, you set the tone for your entire organization. To help stay calm, breathe. If you feel yourself beginning to panic, remember to take a couple of deep breaths and the solution will come. Right now, take a few deep breaths and give thanks for being able to take those breaths. If you would like some help through this difficult time, I'm offering at no cost 90 minute business response action planning sessions. No BS, no sales pit, just sleeves rolled up help for you and your business. If the spread of coronavirus has left you anxious, uncertain about your future, or even fearful about your economic survival, you will find one of these sessions really helpful. Go to my website, www.summitscale.biz and click the link to book your session. Good luck and take care.